Hello everyone. Uh, I visited my local coin shop today, and uh, last time I went there we had some Engelhard bars, silver bars, and I picked up a couple. And today he still had some Engelhard silver bars, and I picked up a couple. Uh, if you're not familiar with Engelhard, um, they ended up they they made silver bars a while back. They stopped producing them in the mid '80s, and then I believe in 2006 they were bought out by BASF. So. If you see an Engelhard silver bar, chances are it was made at least 38, 39 years ago. No newer than that, and probably a lot older than that. And some of them are stamped bars, some of them are poured bars, and I've seen them in um, one ounce. I'm not sure if they make five ounce bars, but I've seen one ounce, 10 ounce, and 100 ounce bars. They're not super hard to get. But uh, from what I understand, some of the designs are um, a bit more rare than others. Uh, the coin shop owner was telling me that some of these have some codes on the back from the, not codes, but uh, serial number, not even serial numbers, really, like model numbers on the back from uh, a previous owner who researched them because there are a couple of Engelhard sites out there. And evidently, um, from my very, very little research that I've done on it, I guess they only produce like 4 million bars over decades. And uh, some of the bars, I guess they're only like, like a few hundred made. Some of them, they were like, you know, tens of thousands. Uh, I don't have a lot of them, but the ones I have, a lot of them are different. I would say this is the most common one that I've had and that I've seen. Uh, just, you know, just says Engelhard and one Troy ounce silver 999, Engelhard again at the bottom with a serial number. Uh, this is actually the first one I believe I've had like this with the eagle on the front. And again, 999 fine silver. And then there's the horizontal one. Um, I've had some of these uh, in the past and whatnot, but you don't see these quite as much as these. And then I'll just show you the back here. Um, not too much. These two have uh, kind of the repeating Engelhard uh, pattern on them. And this one here is just a blank textured pattern. Not sure if this means anything to any of you, but actually, you know what? I think they made them till 86 because this one says 1986. So actually take back what I said about 38, 39 years ago, and it looks like they were making them 36 years ago. So this one's like EL-12. Uh, this one here appears to be EL-01AV, and that one says 1980. So I haven't tried looking these up. Um, I guess some of them are more rare than others, and have different premiums on them than others. I personally paid $35 for each one of these. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh, Engelhard bars are cool. Love Engelhard bars. And some of you are probably thinking I'm a bit crazy for buying Engelhard bars because they're a higher premium. I can see both sides. I personally like Engelhard bars. Um, now, silver as of today is $23 an ounce. These cost me $35. So that's probably a 50, 55% premium, which is a lot of money if you're buying just plain old regular generic silver. But these aren't plain old regular generic silver. They're actually quite liquid, not only because they're silver bars, lots of people buy silver bars, but a lot of the people who buy silver bars will specifically look for Engelhard silver bars. So that premium doesn't go away. And, you know, in the current market, you know, I'm, I'm thinking back about 10 years ago when when silver would be like around, say, $23. And I can get silver bars for maybe $25 or $26, um, depending on quantity or sales or something, because they're just plain old generic bars. So, you, you know, you figure 2 to $3 above. Right now, you can't find that. Uh, you'd actually be hard-pressed to find a generic silver bar for less than like $31 right now. So if you buy some generic silver one-ounce bar right now, it's going to cost you at least $31. I paid 35 for these. I only paid $4 more. Now, I like them. I like the, having the Engelhard bars. If they were like $50, wouldn't have bought them. $45, wouldn't have bought them. Um, you know, maybe $37, $38. Yeah, I think I probably would have still bought them. But for $35, to me, that's a no-brainer because if you're buying um, the generics, they're almost the same price. And, um, you know... Most people who buy silver, you know, they'll they'll prefer the Engelhard over the other ones, and there's quite a few people who will pay more. Um, just wanted to kind of put these on your radar, 
and uh, just kind of show you all the all the different styles there are and, and whatnot. And the other nice thing is that they're all serial numbered and whatnot. I would love to get a 10 ounce bar at some point. They have some nice uh, 10 ounce poured and some um, some 10 ounce stamped. Problem is when I see them for sale, there's usually <laughs> this just kind of a high premium, and it's like a 50 percent premium, just like these have. Which, in the, in the grand scheme of things, is really the same thing I'm paying now. Problem is, usually when I buy these, I'm not walking into the store with, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I'm walking in with like, eh, maybe $100, $150. So, for example, these three bars at $35 cost me $105. If he had a 10-ounce bar there, you know, might be worth two thirty dollars scrap value, but it probably would be about three and a quarter for that bar. So, you know, I don't, I, I didn't walk in with the intention of buying something like that. So I usually don't have that kind of cash with me when I go. But, you know, just buying these, these bars uh, sounds pretty good to me. We actually had a discussion last week, and I think he thought I was a little crazy because we were talking about Silver Eagles. And um, as you probably know, a lot of places are getting $37, $38 a piece for, for just run-of-the-mill common date Silver Eagles. And... Uh, I told him, I said, he's actually cheaper, though. He charges about $31, $32 a piece for the Silver Eagles. And I told him, I said, I'm not buying them until those premiums come down. So it's kind of ridiculous. And he was telling me how demand is still really good for them. I told him I'd rather have the Inglehide bars. I think he thought I was a little crazy. He's a fan of these, too, but I think he would prefer the Eagles. And I, I, I would just rather have the Inglehards. You know, especially, like I said, the Port Bars. If you get a chance to check out some of the Inglehide Port Bars, they're really cool. And... um you know, if if you don't want to pay that extra premium, I totally get it because if you want if you really want to build up and get as much silver as you can, um, and you have you know, let's say you have three hundred and ten dollars. Well, for three hundred and ten dollars, you can get um, you know ten thirty one dollar one ounce bars. That's great. You get ten ounces for three hundred and ten dollars. Now with these, with thirty five dollars an ounce, um, you're only going to walk out with you know, eight ounces and then like another 30 bucks. You won't even have enough to buy nine. You know, if you had 215, then you could, you know, 315, then you could buy nine of them. Um, so I, I understand it. If, you're, if your goal is to maximize as much silver for the dollar you spend. But if that isn't your chief concern and you're interested in buying silver that is a little bit out of the ordinary, it has a little bit of collectability above and beyond these these Engelheide bars are uh, a really good thing to look into. Maybe, you know, pick up one or two if you see them. You'll probably do better at, I find, you'll do better at local coin shops and um, and coin shows because I've noticed that they, they're about 35 at my coin shop. Occasionally you get some styles and conditions for like 32 33 but 35 is the most popular price I've seen. He also had one today that was $70 because it was a rarer Canadian version. But I kind of stayed away from that because that's like, you know, 300 and, 300 and like 40% of the price of silver. So I'm not that into collecting them. I just, to me, they have a little more value. So I, I like them. But it's definitely something to look into if you can get them for only a few bucks above um, above the price of a generic bar. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one. And I just need a favor from you. If you enjoy silver videos in general, gold videos, coin videos, can you please hit the like button? Just like to see what people are thinking. Have a good one.